Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to configure port forwarding on your Netgear Nighthawk R6700 router. Port forwarding is just a configuration you put into your router so that your gaming machine and the online server that you're connecting to to play your game with can communicate effectively through the router without anything being blocked. I'm going to use Call of Duty Warzone as an example, but you can do this with almost any game that you can play online. I go to portforward.com and you have, they have tons of games on here. You can probably look up your game that you wanna do, that you're interested in on here. I'm just gonna use this in a, as an example. So Call of Duty Warzone, I'm gonna scroll down and this will tell me what ports I want to open on my router. You'll notice that they're all for the same game, but it's different depending on what you play it on. This one is for PC, this one's for PlayStation 4, this is for Xbox One, and so on, PlayStation 5 and Xbox X, Series X. So we're gonna configure port forwarding on our router. What we're gonna do is open up a tab and we're gonna log in to the router. 192.168.1.1 is the IP address of my router. Before we actually configure port forwarding, it's smart to configure a static IP address for your gaming machine because when you configure port forwarding, you got to put in the IP address of your gaming machine. And if you're using DHCP with an automatic IP, then you're going to have to continuously go into your port forwarding settings and change the IP address every time that IP changes. So we're going to assign a static IP to our gaming rig. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go to advanced. And then I'm going to go to setup and then LAN setup. Assuming my gaming device is already connected to this router via Wi-Fi or a wired connection, it's really easy to do on this router. You're going to go down to the bottom here, and you're going to go to Add. Now you're going to find your device in this list, your gaming device, that you want to assign a static IP for. You select it, and it adds all the information down here. You can add a device name if you want. It might already have a device name in there. I'll just put Home Network Central. And then I'll go to add. Now I can verify that my device is in this list down here. So my device will always be assigned this 192.168.1.2 IP address. It's reserved. So on that machine, I can leave it, I can leave DHCP settings on because it'll get a DHCP from this router and it'll always be assigned this dot two because it's reserved for this machine. So my IP address is not gonna change and that'll make it really easy for my port forwarding settings. Now to set my port forwarding settings, I go to advanced setup over here and then I go to this port forwarding slash port triggering page. And I want to configure port forwarding, so I check that. And I want to add a custom service. The settings that we enter in here are determined by what's on this page. So I'm going to add mine. Mine is a PC. So I'm going to add these ports to my router. There's two separate settings. There's TCP and there's UDP. I'm going to add a different rule for each of these. I'm going to go into my router. Service name is going to be the game that I'm adding it for. And I'm going to say Call of Duty Warzone. I'm going to copy that and paste that in service name. So Call of Duty Warzone. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to accept that colon in there. So I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to call this one Call of Duty Warzone TCP. And I'm going to select TCP from this box. And now from here, I'm going to copy all these port numbers right here. And I'm going to paste them in the box. And down here, you can select the device that you want to apply it to. This is your gaming machine. So you can go ahead and click apply. My gaming machine and the ports have been added here, but I'm not done yet because I still need to add the UDP ports. Now I'm going to select port forwarding. It's already selected, so I'm not going to click on it. And then I'm going to go to add custom service again. I see my entry in here, but I'm not done yet. I still have to configure UDP. So port forwarding, and I'm gonna add custom service again. Now I'm gonna paste my, oh, I gotta copy it. I'm gonna copy Call of Duty Warzone. That's gonna be my service name. 
I'm going to get rid of that colon because I'm not sure it'll accept, accept that. And this one is going to be UDP. And in this drop down menu, I'm going to select UDP. And now I'm going to copy the UDP ports on this page. And I'm going to paste them into this box. Now I'm going to select again, select my gaming machine and hit apply. Now I have all my settings I need in here. I have all my TCP ports that are pointing to my gaming machine. And I have all my UDP ports right here that are also pointing to my gaming machine. So that's all the settings I need. I can verify by going to this page. This is all my, these are all my PC ports that I need. You'll notice that the ports are different depending on what console you're using. If you're using PS5, it's different than Xbox One, which is different than PC. So they're all different. So that's what determines what the ports are. And that's all we need to do to configure port forwarding on your Netgear Nighthawk R6700 router. Thank you so much for watching. If I helped you out, please give me a like. You have a great day.